at 1130 hours over the contested landscape of the Zaporizhzhia front, the 9S18M1-1 Snowdrift target acquisition radar of a well-positioned air defense battery detected eight approaching aerial contacts with a detection range of up to 160 kilometers for high altitude targets. The radar easily identified the threat at a distance of 45 kilometers. The contacts were flying at an altitude of 300 meters with a stable and predictable flight profile, an attack that appeared unsophisticated, almost desperate. Below, expertly concealed among trees and earthworks, battle-proven air defense units stood ready. Among them was the advanced 9A317M launcher of the Buk M3 system, capable of firing a 9M317M missile at Mach 4 towards targets 70 kilometers away and at an altitude of 35 kilometers. Alongside it, an older but reliable Buk M2 launcher with an effective range of 50 kilometers provided medium range protection. Meanwhile, a modernized Buck M1 with a 90 to 95% intercept probability against combat aircraft guarded the perimeter, ready to engage targets up to an altitude of 25 kilometers. Their defense was reinforced by the latest counter drone system, a quadcopter interceptor designed to neutralize threats physically, not kinetically. Simultaneously, the Volnares Electronic Warfare or EW systems, magnetically attached to each vehicle, began emitting omnidirectional interference across the 900 to 2000 megahertz frequency spectrum, creating a protective bubble one kilometer in radius. The operators, confident in their formidable layered defense, regarded this attack as a routine nuisance to be swiftly neutralized. At 11.38 hours, a defending interceptor drone ascended to confront the first threat. It maneuvered swiftly above the approaching drone, then released a weighted net from its compartment. The net deployed perfectly, instantly entangling the attacker's spinning propellers, sending it spiraling uncontrollably to the ground. It was a clean, quiet, and successful intercept. Lured by this easy initial success, the battery commander decided to demonstrate full force and test his primary systems. As the second drone approached, a $50 million Buck M3 launcher aimed its third generation phased array radar and locked onto the target in under 10 seconds. With a deafening roar, it launched a single 9M317 M missile. The 715 kilogram projectile accelerated to 1,200 meters per second and, within 12 seconds, obliterated its small target into fragments of metal and plastic. It was an impressive show of force. It was also a fatal strategic error. The launch was a massive radio frequency emission, an unmaskable signal across the electromagnetic spectrum. 100 kilometers away, SIGINT or Signal Intelligence assets, which had been patiently waiting, instantly captured the emission. Within seconds, algorithms triangulated the launcher's position with a precision of under 5 meters. The operators, unaware that their most valuable position had been exposed, proceeded to eliminate the remaining threats with remarkable efficiency. One by one, the remaining drones were destroyed by accurate missile fire. The Buk M2 variant, capable of engaging up to 24 targets simultaneously, fired a 9M38M1 missile, destroying the 5th and 6th drones. The final Buk M1 launcher, tasked with cleanup, eliminated the last two. By 11.48 hours, the sky was quiet again. The initial report sent to headquarters was a total success. Eight out of eight aerial threats had been neutralized. The engagement appeared to be over before it had truly begun. However, the real operation was just commencing. The first attack was merely a carefully calculated sacrifice, a bait designed for a single purpose, 
to force the air defense systems to activate their radars, fire their missiles, and in doing so, sealed their own fate. At 11.58 hours, the surprise came from an unexpected direction. 12 stealth FPV drones, which had been flying low at just 15 meters above the ground, using every contour of the terrain to hide their approach from the radar horizon, suddenly appeared from behind a ridge. They were now inside the book system's minimum effective range, a dead zone of approximately 2.5 kilometers, where the large missiles, designed for high-speed targets at altitude, could not maneuver. While the operators were still analyzing data from the failed decoy attack, these FPV drones, each carrying a 3-kilogram EFP, or Explosively Formed Penetrator, warhead, dove towards their precisely mapped targets. The climax began at 11.59 and 10 seconds. This was not an attack on the launchers first. It was a strike against the system's nerve center. The first two drones bypassed the perimeter defenses and went straight for the heart of the system, the Snowdrift Target Acquisition Radar. One drone struck the phased array antenna, tearing it from its mount, while the second hit the power generator at its base, silencing the eyes of the entire battery. At 11.59 and 30 seconds, the 10 remaining FPV drones began their final attack run. They struck in perfectly coordinated pairs, a high-tech ballet of destruction. The first pair swarmed the Buck M3 launcher that had previously fired its missile. One drone targeted the guidance radar module on the front of the chassis, destroying its ability to track. The second drone targeted the missile launch tubes directly. The EFP warhead's detonation created a jet of superplastic molten copper traveling at over 8,000 meters per second, easily penetrating the missile casings. At 1,200 hours, the result was a catastrophic chain reaction. The solid propellant inside the five remaining nine M317M missiles ignited simultaneously, turning the $50 million vehicle into a 50-meter high fireball. Secondary explosions tore the 35-ton chassis apart as the 70-kilogram warheads inside detonated sympathetically. The next wave targeted the Buck M2 launcher. Again, the same tactic was applied one drone to disable the radar, the second to trigger the munitions. The explosion was not as intense as the M3s, but it was just as terminal, sending shrapnel in all directions. Finally, the older Buck M1 launcher, which had expended two of its missiles on the decoys, was targeted. Even with only two missiles on its rails, the resulting blast was powerful enough to tear the turret from its chassis. A high-altitude reconnaissance drone recording the entire event confirmed the results. Multiple air defense launchers of various models, along with their primary target acquisition radar, were reduced to smoldering wreckage. Operation Torn Umbrella was a success. A 70-kilometer wide gap now existed in the area's air defenses, a corridor purchased with 20 drones and a brilliant deception tactic. Watch your six.